It's a Haydu Trail, just a couple miles from the Lazy Lizard Hostel. Stop for uh, some nice breakfast, had a veggie omelet and some good coffee. And uh, now we're heading out to the desert. About to leave Moab here, walking on this really nice uh, kind of gravel path right next to a stream. So two things we will probably not see too much of over the next week. All right, end of the uh, road walk here. It's been about almost seven miles of road walk and uh, the official Hey Duke Trail goes that way down Cane Springs, but we're gonna take an alternate, get on some single track. Camera's coming through a little blurry, but uh, it's kind of hailing. I'm not trying to, it's hailing a lot right now, so uh, just put our head down and, and keep moving. All right, so temperature plummeted. It started snowing and sleeting and, and hailing, and uh, we got pretty wet and cold, and we found this nice little rock overhang, and we're just kind of trying to wait out the elements a little bit, so uh, making some making some ramen right now and uh, hopefully the weather will improve a little bit we'll hike a few more miles this afternoon so uh yeah interesting start all right found this uh little drip here and we we're collecting a decent amount of water map right here where we're going to camp tonight up in here it is really snowing out here I guess the snow is better than rain. How's it taste? Tastes fine. <laughs> Minor sediment. <laughs> yeah, a little, little earthy. You're just in an incredible place right here. All right, so uh, in my tent here, uh, end of day one. Um, pretty interesting day. Um, left Moab. Got some breakfast, it was cool, overcast, and we took the Jackson's Ladder alternate, and it got pretty warm. We took off our gloves, we took off our sweatshirts. The sun was trying to poke through. We got down Jackson's Ladder, walked around on the 4x4 track, and then uh, it started raining lightly, put on my rain jacket, and then hiked a little bit more, and then it really started raining a lot harder, and it started snowing and sleeting. And it really came down pretty good and we got pretty chilled we decided to hang out under a rock overhang then uh it's kind of slowed down a little bit and then it picked back up again and we hiked on down the 4x4 track we came to this turn and there's like a chicken corners or something that was the name of it and there were a bunch of chickens and uh somebody even left a little bottle of tequila there so we, we partake in that that was pretty pretty neat then hiked up through this canyon it was really cool hiked till about six and found a spot to camp the ground is so saturated that it's no really great spots for tenting especially a non-freestanding tent so i had to use some rocks to get my tent set up and then it started raining you can probably hear that rain now still looks a lot like it did yesterday unfortunately but beautiful Uh, the sun doesn't make for a great video, but uh, it is the first time we have seen the sun pretty much the entire hike, just glimpses yesterday and rained all night last night, so the sun is very welcome to help dry things out. All right, so after being on roads all day uh, yesterday and about almost 10 miles today, we are now leaving the road and heading down this wash and seeing what uh, what the Hey Duke has in store for us. So we just came down that drop off. Jane made it look super easy. I kind of freaked out, but we made it. 
All right, so here's a huge pour off, which we're gonna stay above the cliff. Hey, we gotta act like a kid sometimes. Nice. Yeah, it looks like a down climb is doable here. Really? Yeah. Even once you get down to that next tier? Well, I think I think we're gonna be on that bench and then I think we can skirt to the left. And then we can kind of skirt under it. Look for that rock wedged in the crack there. Jamie's coming down face forward. I came down. Kind of put all the rock. pressure on your hands. These nice ledges. Just gently lower yourself down. How'd you sleep? Slept really well. I just getting started here on D3. Looks like we got some uh, tricky route finding and um, some pretty difficult stuff until we get to Needles Outpost. Came up this little bench here. And then up here we found some pools of water from the rain. Made it to Needles Outpost. All right, so uh, rolling out of Needles Outpost right now. About four o'clock, gonna hike for another three hours and change until it gets dark. They were super hiker friendly, had our boxes. Uh, not the best selection of foods there, but uh, you know, enough. Good for the coffee lover. Yeah, yeah, no beer, it was a bummer, but uh, but we'll survive. And uh, back out into the desert we go. All right, here's the uh, peekaboo trail. At least there's a lighter in this one. I think this is why they call it the peekaboo trail. All right, we're uh, up and rolling here on day number four. Left camp maybe, oh, eight minutes ago. Look at my watch. And hiking up Lost Canyon here. And we should have some pretty interesting stuff this morning. Uh, the Joint Trail, which is kind of like a stock canyon, but it's not technically one. Um, but I'm pretty excited for that. And then, uh, then we'll be heading up Butler Wash, which uh, here is pretty tricky. The weather forecast for today has some uh is a little questionable but right now there's some clouds and then there's some brighter areas so that's promising and last night uh it got sort of cold but nothing too bad <clears throat> i did wake up around 11 with uh, some rain and wind pelting my tent had to get up and close up the storm doors um a little bit of condensation this morning but um Excited for hopefully another great day on the Haydig. I've really been enjoying this trip so far. It's been great to have a partner. Jamie has proved himself to be very, very capable. So it's been really fun. Found some deer. I haven't seen too much wildlife out here, but there's some. 
Yeah, we just came through that. Didn't want to do any filming because I didn't want to risk having my phone be off in this crevasse. But it's pretty tight. It's barely able to fit through. All right, we are coming through this uh, joint trail here. There is not a lot of room to maneuver in here. All right, it's starting to hail on us now as we Hoping it'd be nice and wide, and it looks extremely wide. Wow, this is definitely the widest one we've been down here. So, uh, put this way, try to keep it warm. All right, so we haven't done a ton of video here in uh, Butler Wash, but we're almost to the end of it, and we've gotten pretty low in water. All of our puddles that we've been relying on have sort of gone away, but we found one here and we're pretty much sucking this one dry. Well, we are seeing seldom seen bridge and we're kind of hiding from the rain under this overhang here. And we have to try to climb up that somehow, so that should be interesting. And then there's some rock steps there. My hand. Oop. I was gonna come in to give you a hand. <laughs> All right, I think we're good though. All right, my heart's really pumping here. Just got out of this canyon. There's Jamie climbing up, but glad we found the way out of here because we were losing daylight quick. We've had it all today. Yes, sir. Snow now. So uh, morning at day five here, it's about 10 a.m. We've done maybe five and a half so far today. It was a super cold night last night. Um, had some ice in our water bottles, probably got down, I'd say below 20. Just guessing there was frost on everything, on our tents, inside our tents, um, on our packs, on our shoes. And uh, we started moving around 7.30 and been hiking mostly off trail, a little bit on a road, maybe a mile or so of that five and a half. And then now we're down into uh, this wash here. And uh, I think we got to wash for another two miles. And then we got some interesting stuff as we uh, head into the Fable Valley. The trail register here. Uh, next person is about four days ahead of us, so probably won't see him. But uh, but yeah, pretty cool. First one of these that we've seen. So hopefully there's a trail to follow. And it looks like there is. Right? Might disappear though. First time we've seen anything like this, but uh, I think we got plenty of water for now. All right, so we're halfway up the second pour off here out of Papal Valley. And uh, this one is definitely sketchier than the first. 
some snow. You, you kind of see it down there. And then maybe this way. And then, or up here. We'll see, we'll figure it out. day number five here you see we got a fire going uh decided to make camp a little early tonight uh we's, it's going to be our second to last night out on the hayduke and then uh full day tomorrow and then a short day on friday and then try to hitch back on friday and we had a hell of a time trying to climb out of fable valley and had to get up and around numerous pour offs um some pretty challenging climbs some bushwhack our legs got pretty cut up so, uh, and then the next section is going to be difficult as well. So we decided not to push daylight and we saw this campsite with a really nice firing and decided to get a fire going up here. So, uh, should be a really nice night and always nice to have a fire, something I don't normally make out on trail. So, uh, yeah, life's good right now. I think we found the youngest Canyon pour off here. It's kind of this mini pour off that I guess you could get around, but I think that's the big one down there. There's a cairn marking a passage up to that rim over there that we're gonna look for. All right, Jamie's gonna attempt this class three gully right here. There's Young's Canyon. And I think we're almost on the plateau here. And he makes climbing look so easy. And I make it look so difficult. Nice work. All right, we're about to descend down into Young's Canyon here. There's a cairn, and it looks like a long, long way down. And then you can see in the distance there, that is Dark Canyon. That will be where we'll be this afternoon. We had a cairn, 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 and we are trying to find our way down into there. Oh yeah. All right, trying to find a way back into there. Fortunately though, there's a good trail, but suddenly it's way, way down there. There's Dave, he found the little notch that is required to descend in order to get to the bottom of this canyon. Definitely tricky to find. We walked about a quarter of a mile out on one trail and then back to find this. Just pay attention to the cairn on the lower level. found Dark Canyon and look at all this water. I could easily swim in that. And we're rock down these uh, rock slabs here for seven miles. That was cute, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're making our way up uh, out of Dark Canyon. It's really steep. It says uh, 1,200 feet and 0.9. So uh, really grinding here. We got five liters of water. That's 11 pounds of water 
as you're trying to climb up. It's hard to tell how steep it is on there, but I assure you, it is very, very steep. All right, we made it to the top, at least mostly to the top. There might be a little bit of uphill left to go, but past the steepest part, and uh, I really enjoyed that climb. I thought it was fun. It was steep. Uh, it was pretty solid, though. JB, what did you think of that climb? Yeah, it was challenging, for sure. I mean, yeah, especially with 11 pounds of water. Yeah, with the water weight. Yeah. And it took about as much time as, as expected, though. I thought it was quicker, honestly, with the Cairns, there was some much rock finding and we just kind of just use our aerobic fitness to get up it in pretty good time, so. No falls. Yeah, no falls. All right, well, we still got a little bit of light left. We found this cave to sleep under for tonight. So uh, hopefully that'll keep us warm and dry. Looks like there's some uh, not too nice clouds moving in. So um, I think we'll be fine under here for our last night on the Hayduke. sign out so uh we might try to find the hyper arena and get some food and then try our luck with hitching all the way back to moab so that should be an adventure in and of itself it feels great to have gotten this section hike of the handy trail done it's been a lot of fun it's been difficult and i guess some more adventure in front of us <laughs> 